Go readings and salutations, all you beautiful individuals. It is League Unlock. We have returned Eric and Mark with you beautiful people, and we got we got a little seasoning, we got a little spice cooked up, courtesy of the lads from D Plus Kia, kicking off the LCK summer playoffs and dropped right into game one. We alluded to it. We said, let's see. We see Faker playing Nasus mid. Is it going to break out onto the Rift? Of course! It's Showmaker doing it right away to kick this series off. Susan in the mid. Oh, man. I feel so old making this reference. But who let the dogs out, man? The Baja men making an appearance <laughs> in the LCK because your man, Showmaker, taking old Susan out for a walk down mid lane. Yes, Nasus rolling on through to kick off the LCK playoffs. Let's dive into this matchup between D plus Kia and Firax. It felt like a uh, vintage old solo queue Nasus where he hits the wither and then you see four guys all sprinting away from him because he got a lot of stacks and he was not kited nearly as well as some of the other Nasuses that we've seen across other regions. No, he certainly was not and able to get off the ground and running pretty early, picking up a kill, getting those stacks going for old Susan. And it helped that the rest of this D plus Kia squad was up to the task on that very first game. You had Lucid making sure that everything was facilitated and going well in the jungle, just absolutely terrorizing the side of Fear X and what he was able to take away on the Ivern. And then where was all that stuff going to? Oh, well, a smolder down in the bottom lane. Yes, aiming got smolder. You're combining the crazy combo of the Nasus mid lane technology now with that crazy hyper carry that we know smolder can scale up to be. And a player like aiming in the form that he's been in, I'm probably going to guarantee this one as game one for D plus key. It didn't even, you know, it was north of 30 minutes, but. These guys were barely fully on my Nasus. I'm looking for 40 minutes with like 800 <laughs> stacks where he's two shot and everything. But Showmaker was already quickly approaching that one. Uh, obviously, Firex did not enjoy playing against the Nasus mid because it got banned for the rest of the series alongside Showmaker's LeBlanc, which was already being banned multiple times. Uh, second game, it's much more standard really for both uh, teams, yes, it's the smolder again. This was a little bit sloppy, a lot of the team fights, but time and time again, it was still D plus coming out ahead and aiming somehow finishes the game with 10 kills and Showmaker did like 10,000 more damage than anyone else. And I don't know where that damage was coming from because it didn't really ever appear like it was insane or going off in these team fights, but he was consistent, he was picking it up. And that is exactly where you find these numbers piling up for D plus Kia in this second game. It was a little bit all over the place, a little bit shaky at times, certainly getting that pushback from, from Fear X. But the execution on the side of D plus Kia, stronger in the second game as well, making sure that they come across the finish line, get that Nexus destroyed quickly up 2-0 in the series, looking to close things out for game three. And the third game is where this series comes online and it's uh it gets i don't maybe the third game alone gets the certifiable banger status and this is the third strike game spoiler every game has moham pilot in the rel but fear x the best start of the series by far in the early game they were actually the ones in the driver's seat until moham gets this insane four-man magnet storm on the rel instant combo to get uh, D plus back in the game then they're in the driver's seat and look like they're going to close out until yes the heroic base defense out of fear x but we almost hit 50 minutes in this game 49 minutes for this game three the back and forth yes the pushback the zigs technology over in the lck the shout out to our boy apa we love to bring that one up and around anytime we get a chance to talk about it but this time the zigs holds out strong gets the win keeps scaling up way too much pushback from the side of d plus kia in this game given the advantages that were built up before and early for the side of fear x scary stuff when it's able to be pushed that type of distance and you get that type of wombo combo down from the rel surely surely we're banning the rel in game four. We've decided that it was a problem actually in games one and two. Game three, it nearly destroyed our win to keep us alive in the series. 
let's let him have it for game four. Let him have it. How does this happen, Eric? Not only do they let him have it, but D plus goes even further and says, why don't we just do a whole comp around this rel? They keep letting this dude have it who's been terrorizing them the entire series. But, you know, this could have easily kind of a heartbreaking loss in that third game for D plus. Does it carry over? Is the momentum over to Fear X? They got five mid lane bands coming towards Showmaker and he says, great. Lock me in the Yasuo. We don't even need the Diana alongside it. We got the Rel. That's the only Wombo combo we need. And this was the biggest stomp of the series by far. 49 minutes in game three. 23! Less than half the game time in game four. This Yasuo Rel misfortune. Throw the Rumble ulti on top. It was three different team fights that they landed this uh, Wombo combo basically to perfection. Two sides of the coin coming out of that game three. Flipping it over. One side, we got a series. We're going the distance. Silver scrapes, dial it up. Other side of that coin is exactly what we got. D plus Kia fired up, roaring right back, immediately fixing some of the mistakes, making the adjustments from that game three and cleaning it up in game four and getting that execution across the finish line. That is where we find ourselves at the end of the series. Yes, the rel comes through once again. And yes, it is a major problem for the squad of Fear X to destroy. This is one of the things we talk about so many times. And unfortunately, Fear X is guilty of it in, in multiple cases, in multiple games in this series, not banning away the problem on the day. Trying to come in with some type of idea, some formulation of what the meta is supposed to be, what we want it to be, what the enemy team is gonna bring into the day. And we got to take care of these things and make sure they never hit the rift. What do you do when you need to adjust and you see something being a problem on the enemy side? It's almost like, no, 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 no. I can't hear you. It's not happening. This isn't destroying us. It is destroying you. And now it's out. You're out of the LCK playoff. I always wonder what of it is. Uh, I'm, I'm not throwing the bot lane of Furex under there under the bus or anything but how much of it is an ego check in some of these games for the opposition to say no no the rel's not the problem we can deal with it i got it we got him on lock and then after game four he says yeah i didn't have it guys i, I couldn't handle uh the rel maybe they were thinking let's ban it for game five but then they quickly realized d plus was coming over for handshakes because uh the series is over guys obviously D plus were big favorites. Everyone was expecting them to come away with this series but uh really excited especially by that game four yeah, and I think there's a lot of reasons to be from this performance with D plus Kia. Even, uh, you know, if you're going to diminish what you think or where you value Fear X as far as an opponent or a playoff to your, uh, 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 you know, team, what you saw from D plus Kia, what you are verified here is number one, in tune with the, the meta rumblings and rumors that we are hearing about getting that Nasus right out of the gates, very first game of the LCK playoffs, and obviously showing that command of it with Showmaker. Number two, continuing on that showmaker being an important figure in this series with not only his gameplay, but instantly affecting it in the ban situation where they're banning out his LeBlanc every single game. Could he use maybe to say, okay, let's let's dial it up. Let's see him roll the LeBlanc out in this situation, find execution on it, or well, let's just keep handing over the rel to, to Moham. No, that seemed like that was a good idea for Fear X. It's crazy. And then you continue even further from that to talk about Lucid and his playoff de uh, debut here again for the summer, looking fantastic for D plus Kia and the bottom lane contributing. And with a side order of King and popping off in this game four, this is a ticket for D plus Kia to be a team to, to be a real threat in the LCK playoffs. Feeling good about them going forward. Obviously, we'll see who Gen G ends up choosing between them and the winner of that KT SKT. Oh, T1, excuse me, going way back on him, SKT. Uh, in that next round of playoffs, if you're FlyQuest, you're sitting at home and you just started sweating profusely because PSG Talon clinched their spot at Worlds. They won the winner's final against the uh, SoftBank Hawks, the number one squad from the LJL. They haven't won the split yet, but already clinched their spot to the world championship by going to finals this is their seventh final in eight splits it was 3-0 in this one and this this is the term that gets thrown around too often but psg is a dynasty in the pcs 
it, you gotta understand the different levels where you're talking about it from and i think un, undeniably uh, uh, what psg has built in the pcs has got to be recognized has to be recognized and has to be acknowledged for what they've done celebrating them making another trip to worlds your boy maple and hey how about your man betty the down in the bottom lane checking in with this squad wild that maple has survived all the course of all the stories in his careers but number one for me is making it to tsm in the lcs playing and actually surviving and finding you know some type of success with the team and then moving away as everything implodes and crumbles away and still finding success still finding trips to the world championship stage it's just what maple does for psg and they have been extra dominant in this summer split. You look at the numbers across major region teams and wildcard or tier two, they're first in a bunch of major, cat major categories. 3,000 plus goal differential at 15 minutes. Again, for the whole summer split. Oh man, and, and when you watch this team, when you look at it in, in the composition, one of the things that instantly jumps out to me as well is Janjia in the jungle and what he can do, what he can provide for this team. He's certainly a player that is not minor region caliber. He is major region tier level, and he's playing down here as the big fish in the little pond. He is one of these guys that absolutely sneaks up on teams that don't prepare properly for PSG. Don't give them the proper respect or treatment before in the preparation. He's someone that will punish the enemy team. And he has punished an entire region for multiple splits now. But yeah, PSG... <laughs> continually that tier two region that you look at the level that they're at and you look ahead to the world championship and we already saw them at msi these guys can do damage and take games off of major regions just ask flyquest who as you mentioned is absolutely terrified to see this squad improve from the last time yeah. that they saw them and got knocked around not just the LCS that is uh, afraid of the top power level that PSG Talon represents coming in as a, a wild card, minor region, whatever you want to throw out in return. Head over to the LEC, which right now we got G2 and BDS playing. Old BDS. Yes, they certainly would like a crack at the PSG Talon machine, get a little bit of revenge for last year as well. Congratulations once again to PSG for locking up that world spot. That is the sixth team to lock up world spot for right now slowly but surely we're filling out that list filling out those numbers of teams that we got our head ahead of ourselves for the final the final dance and psg you know it just wouldn't feel like worlds without seeing that logo back so happy for maple and the boys to have qualified many more teams over the next week or two are going to start qualifying for that world championship but that is it today for league unlock eric and mark here with you absolutely wonderful individuals as always thanks for hanging out we'll catch you on that flippity flip